So hello guys, um, the last video we end up here on the time mystery analysis. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do a time mystery. Let's do a time mystery analysis on our structure. So let me go to geometry. Now on the analysis, go to analysis types. I'm going to left mouse click on you. And I'm going to, to define a new dynamic case within this structure. It will be a modal analysis, okay? I'm going to set this as okay. Very good. I'm going to leave parameters as default. They told me to do so. Okay. Very good. Once again, press the new button. And select the time history over here. Time history analysis. Okay. Now let's make the function definition to define the time function. Okay. It's the definition of the time function. Press here over in the function definition. Function name will be wind impact press add and on the points tab define consecutive points of the time function okay first point will be t0 ft0 for the wind impact add now t0.01 it will be Five. Add. Now t zero point zero two. It will be will be equal to zero. Add. And now one second after that, let's add this. There we go. It will be a small hit of the wind, as you may see. I'm going to close this and. On the time mystery or in the time mystery analysis, you'll select the fifth load case, win one from the viable load cases list. Okay, I'm going to select, I'm going to press the add, and what this is going to do, uh, robot is getting the this case, win one, and it's going to apply it, apply it with this coefficient to our structure, okay, as you may see. Add okay very good now i'm going to tool job preferences and structure analysis i'm going to set this as to set this as a dsc algorithm okay i'm going to set this as this just changing the algorithm of the calculation and now i'm going to run the calculations running the calculations okay now to accept all of these eigenvalues we we lost one okay don't mind about that now let's see the results that we got close these results advanced time history analysis diagrams like this press add on the nodes tab, I'm going to select this UX. In the point field, enter the node number 12. I want to see the results for node number 12. This is how you ask robot for the results of the time history analysis. Okay. I'm going to add and now close. I'm going to select this and press this button. Switch on open on a new window or open a new window is going to give you the results that you are asking for in a new window and press the apply button and there you go. You've got here the displacement regarding the time history analysis that you have made, which is the displacement of node number 12, which is this node right here. Okay. Notice what I've done here. I've asked robot to to go to to the load case number five, which is a wind load, and to escalate it to five regarding the time function definition that I made. 
and these are the results that I've got for the displacement in node number 12 okay now let's select different different uh, results you may select whatever results you want go to results advanced time history analysis diagrams I'm going to delete this press the add button I want the acceleration in the UX direction same node node number 12 I'm going give I'm going to give it this name over here okay I'm going to add close add this apply open in a new window and there you got the acceleration of that node so this is how you do a time history analysis this is at least one example it's a time history analysis regarding regarding uh, a load case that you've got that we have got here which is wind one so um, thank you for watching next video will be on exercise number 12 which will be the last one on this series of exercises on robot structure analysis that we are that we made thank you for watching and please subscribe